Hello, this is Bruce Brown. I have been doing information system security for a very long time, about 20 years. And um, I got into this career field from being actually doing physical security. I was a security police officer in, in the Air Force. So what I want to talk to you today about is becoming an information system security engineer. Now, a lot of people don't know about this. It's one of those hidden gems out there that if you are lucky enough to get into it, it pays very well. So what is an information system security engineer? Well, it's your primary objective is to protect an organization's information by keeping its information confidential and keeping it uh, intact, which means having it have integrity and keeping it available. Those are the key tenets for an information system security engineer. As an information system security engineer, you may be tasked to do many, many different things. Some of them technical, some of them more paper documentation policy, security policy oriented, but it always comes down to the same, this fundamental that you see. What is it? Let's go a little bit further into the definition. So it's a combination between systems engineering and information technology. Now, if you look at the top 50 fastest growing occupations in the next five to 10 years, you'll see this particular occupation on the list. It's actually ranked top six, 16, uh, top 20 on many, many different lists. And the reason why is because information technology and the internet has become an, a very big part of business, of commerce, of consumerism. It's a huge, huge part that's it's a market that go it's going into the trillions and when you have a market this big that's protecting very important information and very important assets you need information system security engineers to make sure that your systems are intact and secure and available and uh, confidential in in many cases so the U.S. government is actually looking for many cybersecurity experts, and um, as you can see, it's uh, a huge vacuum that needs to be filled by the U.S. government. And I'm sure many other governments around the world need more security experts. The workforce shortage. This workforce shortage means that you get a very healthy salary because you have less competition for this particular field. It's a specialty within IT. You see, it's not enough to just be an IT information technology worker. You need to specialize in something. And what I'm suggesting to you is to go into information systems security engineering. Look at the salaries. Now, I pull these salaries off of Glassdoor.com and you, you can see that it ranges from 62000 a year to up to six figures easily six figures in this field again if you're a google information system security engineer you can make upwards of 130 130 thousand dollars a year raytheon 98 thousand a year bank of america security engineer 90 thousand a year and it, it goes on and on but you can see that the average is approximately high 80s for this particular career field now this does depend on certain factors you're not gonna just walk in off the door with no experience and make that kind of money you do need usually need some sort of a bachelor's degree at the very least they're usually just to walk in the door you're looking at five three to five years of actual experience and a bachelor's degree but if you have the good news is if you have a bachelor's degree you can get in the door with very little experience another thing that they look forward they look for in a candidate is certifications in particular the highest one you can get um, in general for any kind of information security information system security engineering degree is a, a CISSP and that's a certified information system security professional and that this is sponsored by the International Information S System Security Consortium so here's some other things that you need to know. A, a very strong technical background is 
actually not necessary, but it's it it's it's something that you should have. One of the key things that you're going to need to know are some of the standards for information system security out there. One of which is NIST Risk Management Framework, but there's others. There's many others. There's a uh, COBIT. There's uh, the International Information System Security Management Framework. There's many other frameworks that you and framework just means a standard a a breakdown of all the components of things that they want um, that governments or high-level organizations need to protect one of the strongest things you can have for the information system security career is a strong technical security background and that's in in all types of products from Microsoft to firewalls like Palo Alto to Cisco firewalls to Oracle databases any really any kind of technical background that you have will help you in this particular career field because you're gonna have to touch many different products and have some idea of what routers do what switches do what servers do how they work what kinds of methods you would use to put security on them um, being a, a system administrator also helps all of those things will help you and it's really helpful if you're starting off from scratch if you're starting off with no technical background it's really best that you start with a technical background and work your way up to a security a strong security background it's not necessary however it's very very helpful because you're going to be dealing with lots of different technologies and it's imperative that you understand how they work together that's not to say that me as a guy that's been doing this for about 20 years uh, knows every aspect of every kind of technology you know honestly I've touched a lot of technologies but I don't know everything and I'm not definitely not in the weeds on a lot of these things but the the great thing about having a technical background is I know of uh, say Oracle uh, databases I've touched them before I've managed them before I've done administrative work on them before am I an expert on it no Cisco I've same thing I've been a network engineer I've done network um, administration I've done a bit of it of that kind of CC e and T CC and a type work you know I'm an expert no I'm not a CC NP I'm not a professional in that career I don't know routing protocols very well you know uh, but I do know a little bit of Red Hat, so I know something familiar with the commands of Cisco, and I can see that the Cisco commands are very similar to the Red Hat commands, and I'm familiar enough with Microsoft Windows, and I've touched servers enough to know uh, how they work and how they, how they, how the structure is laid out. Those are the kinds of things that you really need to know in this particular in this career field and so that's all I just wanted to let you know that this is a great career field to get into and the market even though the market goes up and down in 2008 crash and all that kind of stuff you know honestly I wasn't really affected by it because um, this career field has been growing steadily and it's going to continue to grow through 2020